Hey mommy, it's Ashley here from Globati Personal Training and today we are just going to get really real, I hope you don't mind, about truths about third trimester. These are things that I've experienced and that I suspect you'll at least experience some of them, if not most of them yourself, once you hit third trimester or if you're already there. The first one is that I have found myself, this is so embarrassing, just standing like at the bus stop waiting for my older kid to stand in here like this scratching and and one woman the other day was like hey you know scratching causes stretch marks right which I don't agree with at all but you know I was polite and I was like oh thank you um, you know I'll take that into consideration and everything but um, by the way I have a full video about how to prevent stretch marks that you can go watch on YouTube and I'm still using the exact same things except I've also added coconut oil so on mornings when I forget to wear coconut oil that's when I'm just itching like crazy and it's embarrassing and I catch myself but when I remember to apply my coconut oil and just really focus on this lower area and all the way up on the sides because this is where the most stretch marks happen and then just above the belly button about four inches that's when my scratching I don't notice it I don't notice feeling itchy all day but it's normal it happens due to your immense stretching of the skin and that's just one way to hydrate your skin in a really safe way so that we can prevent stretch marks. Um, sure, they might happen from scratching, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> the next one is that prenatal shirts have been kind of bad for my morale. Ones from nicer brands have been too short and my belly is literally hanging out. So third trimester, I've grown out of some of my maternity shirts, which is a shame. I'm going to show you some pictures just so you can see what I'm talking about. And yeah, just things for morale. So pregnancy companies out there, maternity companies, please make your shirts longer so that we can feel good and cover this gorgeous bump um, for the duration of our pregnancies. Next one is very embarrassing, but I don't usually have allergies when I'm pregnant. I get seasonal allergies and I get them really hard to the point where I go into these sneezing fits. And if I am in a public place when I'm in a sneezing fit, I'm just like, oh no, because I'm really scared of peeing my pants. I've peed my pants probably three times in the last six weeks. I'd say like every other week probably it's happened. Um, and it's because, you know, in public it's awkward to just achoo, achoo, stand there like this. But at home, I can, you know, you can kind of clench and do that and you won't pee your pants. But there's just so much pressure, especially if you already have a full bladder and you're you know, I'm in line at the grocery store waiting and you start sneezing, you're just like holding it all in, hoping that you don't pee. So yes, that has happened to me a few times. If it happens to you too, it's normal. Don't worry, we are going to be healing your pelvic floor postpartum, but while you're pregnant in third trimester, your, your baby, your fetus is just so big in there and it's taking up the entire space of your abdominal cavity, pushing against your bladder. It's hard to control, um, you know, a little, little pee leak once in a while here and there, especially if you are sneezing or coughing really hard on surprise. All right, now that we got that out of there, <laughs> more embarrassing news, but good news in my mind is that my butt has grown. So I'm always excited about this, but I get a little more curvy, you know, in the front and on the back side while I'm pregnant. Unfortunately, it's really hard for me to keep my booty postpartum because when you are nursing, the first place in your body that your body that your um, milk draws fat stores from is your butt. Unfortunately, it's not from your belly. So it, it, your body will take fat stores from your glutes in order to provide fuel and nourishment for your baby. So that's why during my post pregnancy plan, we do a lot of booty work. So we really sculpt and tone and maintain a nice perky lifted butt the best we can since our body is just naturally pulling fat from that area. So I'll enjoy it while I'm pregnant, although I know I really have to work hard to keep any sort of a bum when I'm postpartum and nursing just because genetically, um, yeah, I just have to work hard to keep a butt. So I'll enjoy it now. Next is melasma. Sounds really awful. It's not that bad. So you can't see it right now because I have makeup on, but I'm going to show you a picture without. I'm just getting some dark areas right underneath my eyes here. A lot of women get it um, on the nose, on the bridge of their nose, under the eyes, forehead, chin, and they call it a face mask during pregnancy just because it happens during, on all those high spots on your face. 
It's just a natural pigment change in your facial skin that happens due to hormonal changes during your pregnancy. If you have some melasma going on, don't worry, in my experience it has disappeared after baby has come. In about a month or two, my face you know, returns to normal and my complexion looks, looks clear because I don't have like, um, you know, it's like a brownish color, I would say, of melasma. And again, mine is right here. So kind of frustrating that that happens, but at the same time, um, I haven't had a lot of breakouts or anything like that, so I can celebrate that skin victory. And let's talk about something that is totally, I was totally unexpecting during my first baby, is that during late second and third trimester, you tend to get an increase in white discharge. So it's just that milky white discharge, and mine tends to be most frequent, or it happens more frequently in the morning than it used to. So for me, panty liners are a must during, first, during third trimester, and I know that I won't need that panty liner the whole day, but it's nice to have in the morning. And that's just your body's natural way of keeping everything nice and clean, and if you are having any other different symptoms, weird symptoms, like if it's a, a bad odor or smell or off-colored, like yellow or green or, or hints of red, um, then you might want to see a doctor because that is, that's not expected, that's not, um, that's not in line with what's expected to be normal. Unless you are full term and right near your delivery, you may start seeing a little bit of blood discoloration in your discharge and then eventually the mucus plug will come out. So note that that will be normal once you are third trimester and really getting close to your, your big delivery day. Alright, I can't believe I'm telling you guys all of this, but I said no holds, so here it is. My armpits stink while I am pregnant. I don't know what goes on. I feel like when I'm not pregnant, if I forget to wear deodorant, I don't feel that smelly. At least I can't smell my smell. S smell myself. Luke, my husband, told me that he never smells me. He's like, you don't have BO at all. I never smell you no matter what. But I feel that maybe I have more because my more um, heightened olfactory senses while you're pregnant, you know, you're, you pick up scents more easily. I can definitely smell my pits when I'm pregnant if I forget to wear deodorant. So I'm also careful about what deodorant I wear and I've decided to do um, just an aluminum free deodorant and I've tried quite a few out there. Um, let me know in the comments what type of natural deodorant works for you, but I found that the Schmitz Lime one from Target works great. It's pretty cheap, aluminum free, um, the fragrance is natural, it's not like a, a weird chemically made fragrance, so I feel good about it and it has masked any BO so I don't feel self-conscious or trying to keep my arms down because I feel like I stink. <laughs> and again, pregnancy hormones. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, last thing, I just wanted to be transparent about my weight gain. So my goal was to gain 30 pounds during this pregnancy. So get all the way to delivery date at 30 pounds. Well, I'm 31 weeks and 25 pounds up. So. Hello baby, we will see how big this one is. Riker was just a hair under 10 pounds, so I know I tend to deliver big babies, but we will see. Um, I'm still trying to keep it at 30, or at least close to 30, you know if it's 32, no big deal. But I don't want to go too high because I know that the more weight I gain during my pregnancy, the harder it is to take off postpartum. So just trying to listen to my body, really be in tune with intuitive eating and hunger, hunger signals and not just eating all the chocolate, you know, peanut butter ice cream gallon and like talking myself out of like moderation is okay Ashley, you know, like I'm pregnant but it doesn't mean you get to eat tons and tons of it because you're still going to gain an excess amount of weight if it's more than your baby needs to develop and grow and more than your body needs in order to protect that, that baby. Reminding myself that babies grow on nourishing foods, they don't grow on junk calories and that keeping my diet really rich and colorful vegetables and fruits and lean proteins, that's what's going to, you know, create this big healthy baby. Um, yeah, so that's it. Also know that if you have a big baby too, there's nothing wrong with that. I talked to my doctor and she was like, oh, you are right in track for your body's weight gain. That's because you work out so much, your baby gets um, more air and better, better development, better nutrient track from my body to babies. So keep that in mind too, you fit mommies. 
Whereas if you are smoking and you have nicotine in your system, that tends to lead to smaller babies because they're not getting as much air as they should and they're not getting all of the, the adequate levels of nutrients. So do the best you can to nourish your body now while you're pregnant because it's going to help keep your baby healthy and keep you nice and lean. Well, you know, as lean as you can be in a healthy way. So that, these are my embarrassing truths about third trimester. I would love so much if you feel open enough to share in some of yours below. I really appreciate you guys. This Glow Body PT fam means the world to me. If you haven't already, go snag my free prenatal training schedule. It takes you from eight weeks all the way to 32 weeks, and then you've kind of learned the rhythm on what to expect and what you can do. Go by your own feeling past um, from 33 weeks until delivery. I still want you working out, but I don't want you following a strict training plan at that point. I really want you in tune with your body, listening to your body, doing what you feel up to be doing, um, but still staying active on a regular basis, doing any of my third trimester safe prenatal workouts. I will see you next time. Bye guys.